How DNA controls cell activity. DNA controls the type of protein produced and the location of the protein produced. For example, pigments for the eye color are proteins which are produced only in the iris of the eye, even though every cell in the body contains DNA that codes for this. DNA is made up of genes which are located on chromosomes. Each gene controls a particular characteristic or capability of an organism. Genes work by coding for all the proteins the organism will ever need to build, including transport proteins on cell membranes, some hormones, pigments, and muscle fibers. In this image, we see one chromosome and we see several genes depicted as stripes or bands along the chromosome. Genes also control cellular chemical reactions by directing the formation of enzymes. Many metabolic disorders are the result of genes that do not function to produce the proper enzymes. Shown on this image of chromosome 3 are the locations of genes which are the origin for several different metabolic disorders. Humans have 46 chromosomes occurring in 23 pairs. Here we see the human karyotype for a human female. We can see that each chromosome has a corresponding partner carrying the same type of information. For example, the first pair, or chromosome pair number one, has a chromosome that originated from each parent, the mother and the father. If we look at this pair, it's not numbered. This is the sex determining pair and since there are two X chromosomes, this is a female karyotype or the chromosomes that belong to a female. If it was a male karyotype, we would have a regular sized X chromosome and a smaller Y chromosome which would be lacking some of the genes that the X chromosome carries. This is the reason why there are genetic disorders that are linked to being male. We call this sex linkage. The Human Genome Project is an international scientific research project. Its primary goal is to determine the sequence of chemical base pairs that make up DNA and to identify and map approximately 20,000 to 25,000 genes of the human genome. The goal is to find out exactly where those genes are located and what they do. The project began in October of 1990 and a working draft of the genome was announced in 2000 and a complete one in 2003. More detailed analysis is still being published. The objective of this project is to find disease causing genes and possibly use the information to develop more specific treatments. Mapping the genome has not been limited to humans. Uh, several other non-human organisms such as E. coli, the fruit fly, and the laboratory mouse are all also being mapped. This remains one of the largest single projects of investigation in modern science. Here are some gene facts. Here we see two bases. The number of DNA base pairs that make up a gene is approximately a thousand. The number of base pairs in one human cell is four billion and the length of DNA in one human cell is 12 meters. The number of genes that compose the DNA molecule of a single human chromosome is 175,000. Genes always occur in pairs and half of each person's genes come from the mother and half from the father. Together they dictate traits. Most ordinary traits like eye color and height are controlled by several different genes. This is a brief introduction to genes and chromosomes and how DNA functions to control traits.